Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got GM Pokey and I am opening a product for the first time. I have not opened one of these EBTs because as you've been watching, it's been all Crown Zenith because of the pure hit. So what are the odds that we can open this Fusion Trainer Elite Trainer box and actually get somewhat of the hits that we've gotten kind of like our Crown Zenith? I'm gonna, sorry guys, I'm gonna pop this up real quick. If you guys can give me a quick gander. Um, so this is art that I had done by an artist. We hired him over Fiverr and uh, just if I, verr.com if you ever want to check it out freelance workers if you need smart done so they made this up and they put a couple pokemon in there for me and that's supposed to be me as a pokemon trainer that's my martial arts uniform I've got my belt on and a pokeball you guys let me know what you think that they do good job bad job should we use that should we use our green screen instead and put that in the background or should we just get some uh stuff printed up with that guy on there so one of the things we're possibly looking at doing, and I'll get ripping into this. Actually, let's look at what we're going to have here first. So uh, we're not going to read all these words to you, but we've got uh, eight packs of Fusion Strikes. So that's pretty cool. The 65 sleeves of Mew. So if you're a Mew fan, those are pretty cool. Uh, 45 energy cards. We'll just throw those aside. And then the player's guide, which is pretty cool. I like these player guides. I'm pretty new to seeing these and opening these ETBs. Um, we got the damage counter dice, the competition legal flip coin die, the two acrylic markers, the uh, holder. So you got four dividers, keep everything organized, and a code card. So yeah, pretty sweet. Let's let's get ripping into this. And um, I totally lost track of what I was going to be telling you guys that I said I would do it. But I'm going to get into this thing. Um, so with no further ado, we can get opening. And then please do check out uh, all of our ETBs that we're doing uh, are going to end up being turned back around and turned into what we call treasure boxes. It's a newer thing we're going to do on the channel to try to uh, recoup some of the costs of the products that we're opening on the channel, right? And what it's going to be is uh, we're going to take these boxes and stuff them full of the, well, the bulk you see us open, which is going to be all the hollows, all the rares, the rares, so the ultras will be pulled out, uh, our top end ones. But... If you're looking to get something for a kid and you want to get them a lot of cards, like a lot, because we'll stuff them full of bulk from previous uh, expansions too, um, please do check out in the description what we're putting in. So we will, whenever we do these, we'll do a video of it first so you can actually see um, what exactly is in there. We have we do some repackaging, not in the foil, but we do our own little hollow foil packaging. So it's kind of cool. It still gives you the feeling of opening and not knowing what's in there. But yeah, we're, we're putting trainer cards. We're putting these. There'll be VSAR. I mean, there's, there's nice cards in there. It's just, you know, obviously we're not going to give you our top end Charizards, whatnot. Those are going to go onto our eBay channel directly, uh, either as PSA 10s or depending on the condition, just as raw. So let's get back into it. So there's a code card if you want to play the game online. This is what we all came to see, right? The packs want to know what's in there. So we have eight packs and, um, you know, I don't know. They feel kind of heavy. I don't, feels a little bit light, heavier, lighter, light, whoa, light, heavier. Okay. So, I mean, what do we put them down? We'll do them that way, right? So that's how we magically figure that out. Uh, so the sleeves, if you're a Mew fan, that's pretty cool. So we got the sleeves. I'm going to throw those back in there for now. But I like the dice. And actually, uh, I have someone who's one of their favorite colors is purple and pink. So I think if we got her to play this game, that would pr she would probably claim those for herself. Um, and then we've got the markers, right? So in case you want to do the markers. Now, do you guys energy... Um, do you guys play the actual like card game? How many of you guys out there are actually playing? And then these are pretty, I actually find these helpful because we put a lot of our bulk in um, the big 3,200 count boxes. And it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to actually, oh cool, there's actually printing. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that. There's actually printing, I never even looked on the crown zine. There's printing on the inside of these boxes. That is pretty cool. So if you were to open up the box, you could, you could spread it out, but it's kind of like, it's, it's, well, maybe they're all right side up. No, some are upside down, I think. Eh, anyways, that's a cool fun fact. I, I never even knew that. Um, I like to play online. I don't like to play in cards because I don't want to I don't want to take my collector cards and ding them up. And I, I don't want to have powerful stuff. So I play online. And then also if I'm introducing it to people, here's the uh, inside of this. Oh, look at it. So the whole set. I do really honestly like um, Charizards. But look at that. Tyranitar. Um, I really like... Uh, playing online just because it's easier and if I have new people I want to introduce to the game I don't actually have to teach them how to play the game, you know, won't let them do it All right, so there's all of our fire guys uh, What is the card you guys are chasing in this set? I actually have I think I have that chandelier V max might even be on our I don't know if it's sold at the time I think it's on eBay right now 
Yeah, I think I actually have a good number of these. Remember, I buy a lot of cards in bulk. I do buy my own bulk from people. Um, and sometimes, you know, people don't know what they're getting rid of. And I say thank you. All right, so this is what we're shooting for today. In these eight packs, this is what we're trying to get. Um, we would like to get some of these gold cards. I actually have Howard Tablet and Training Court. I know I have those um, cards already. I think that Mew V Max is one of the big hit cards we're trying to shoot for. Um, what are some other ones I think I've seen? There, there's a couple. Yeah, that Mew. All right, so that's what we're shooting for. Let, let's get a Mew today. Wouldn't that be pretty cool if we got the Mew? Uh, and this cool, uh, the, the play mat you're seeing in front of me, I'm going to use for my things. It, it's nice. It doesn't um, have stuff move. It's a big mouse pad. And would you be interested if I got one printed, a GM Pokey play mat like this printed? Would that be something you might possibly be interested in, in getting from our channel? We're trying to find ways that we can, and I don't know what is the secret on these. Okay, so we'll just pull up the card that way. Um, is it one, two, three, four, skip a few, and I don't I don't know what it is on this one, so let's find out. Um, what are things that you'd be interested in picking up on our channel? We need something to help support the cost of all these products we're opening because it's you know thousands of dollars to keep opening this much product on the channel. So we sell the stuff on eBay, which I appreciate. Some of you guys are going on there and I, we just dumped a ton of stuff the other day and it bought us a ton of stuff to open for you today. Um, what is it you would use? Can, if I got sleeves, and I wouldn't put my logo all over your sleeves, it would just be nice, clear sleeves, you know, same same cost as you normally spend. Would you pick those up for me? If I got top loaders and it would just have our logo and UPC on the package. Um, GM Pokey Peak says nothing. All right. Would that be something you'd be interested in? And there's nothing. So remember, those bulk go into our treasure boxes. We don't keep any of that stuff. We don't try and sell it raw. It's not, not worth the time. But we got to get rid of it because um, it just takes up a lot of storage space. So I opened up uh, the Charizard. If you want to check out that video, the Charizard Premium Box. And I got super like backwards. A lot of the packs were not the same. Um, and I guess I haven't paid enough attention to really realize um, where all of the special, like what number to flip. So, uh, anyone, if you could in the comments, if you know, if you're really good at this, this would be actually a super appreciated comment for me and everyone else it, for each one of the subsets. Is there like a different trick? Like I like to put, you know, I count four and I put the one in one in front of the last two, because that gets me here and I can speed through to this point. Um, what is, what is the order of each of them? Anyone, even if you just pop a link in there to where other, anyone else has done it. Okay. GM Pokey Peak. Nah, nothing. Uh, it's a quick ball, reverse hollow, and it's just a grim snar. Uh, but it is nice. It's a uh, it's a hollow rare. So uh, is there a trick? And remember, I think I just felt them. Obviously, you watched me do it. I'm not. I didn't wave them. Uh, I did have a video where we opened up 50 packs of the Crown Zenith, and you'll be surprised. Fart! I did it again. I keep. I'm so used to Crown Zenith, I don't even think about. It. So we know this one's not a hit. That's such a bummer. Um, but. Uh, we opened 50 packs that were weighed and I got the scale to do that video and it was on my birthday. So go on there and leave me a happy birthday from the other day. Um, Jim Pokey Peak says we knew that was going to happen. And yeah, that white border. Um, I wanted to see because it's such great hits if and they don't do the, the different color code cards. I wanted to see if that was something we'd be able to actually like weigh. And it doesn't seem me a it doesn't really serve me. I don't sell loose packs. It doesn't serve me a purpose to be weighing them. So you're safe if you buy our stuff because we're, we're ripping everything. Um, but that being said, um, if you check out the video, you can see that there's actually hits in different weight ranges, and it's really surprising uh, that it that it's that. I mean, it's, it's very clear as to where the hits are going to be. So uh, check out that video if you want information on Crown Zenith, and then just kind of a. I'll show you that it's a no-no to get um, bulk uh, loose packs. Okay, ready? GM Pokey Peak. Nada. Okay, so we got a do Piter and nothing. Okay, so we got four packs. How many packs did I open? One, two, three. Okay, wow. So we're halfway through this ETB and we have nothing. Now, if I was halfway through a Crown Zenith, which is 10 packs, I would already have like two galleries and some other hits. So again... Um, I gotta make sure I don't see those code cards. Um, let me know what you think. Um, do you feel like uh, Crown Zenith is just like a regular old set, and I just get bad luck with everything else, or do you feel like they just stuff that with hits, right? Okay, GM Pokey Peak says nothing. Can we get a hit? Is there something? Nothing. Okay, so we just got a uh, 
reverse and a toxicity rare hollow. Man, what do you what do you think is gonna happen with this box? Can I hit a whole box of duds? Now I have Hodge. Uh, I did it again. I looked at the code card again. See, I I really honestly I I super hate that uh, that I can see the the code card and find out if it's a hit or not because it just kind of wrecks the the whole pack for me. And I apologize. We'll speed through this one. Um, yeah, Lat yes, There's a billion of those in our in our sorting box. Um, what do you guys think? What's what's your feedback on this box? Is it is it junk? Is it worth it? We have a few of them. We're gonna sell them sealed on um on our eBay store. So please do go pick one up to help out the channel. Let me know if you get better luck than I did when you open yours. There are a lot of big bangers when I was looking at the resale on these. So someone's getting hits or are they just big bangers because there's no hits and they're hard to get a hold of, right? What is the deal? Are these just, is this just the reprint series where all the hits went out in the first print? Uh, you guys give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Jim Pokey Peak says, I need something. And I get nothing. I got a Voltrub. And wow. Okay, guys. So we have one pack left. I tried to just hand weigh them and see if there's like heavier packs. But wow. Okay. So do you, when we look in that pile of code cards, do you think that we're going to have all white border cards? Wow. How is it you can open an ETB of eight packs, right? Eight sealed packs and get squat out of the thing right so this would be at least a faster video for you guys won't be around all day uh, okay GM pokey peak says something please wow nothing is there a hit there's not a hit there's not a single hit in this whole box wow okay so let's let's take a quick look at this okay so what are the odds and you guys tell me please okay so we had hit cards, right? Look at this. We had hit cards. We had four hit cards and four not. But what were considered, like, if it's a hollow? So we have, okay, so there's a, yeah, and then a regular, reverse, regular, reverse, hollow. Wow, I, I don't consider those hits. They could just go into our bulk pile. So if you're picking more bulk and you think those are hits, you're going to be a super stoked person because we just ditched that stuff. Realistically, look at that. We only had three. I only had three rares that actually were hollows. What is it? These are all common, uncommon. Right? So eight. Eight. I mean, everyone gets those. Those are those are in every single pack. And none of these. Look, what what of these are how are these considered hits? Okay. Um well, guys, let's do a review. Here's here's what they gave us for hits. Holy smokes! All right, so what do you guys think? Um, uh, is this normal for this this ETB? I I've got a couple more. We were gonna throw them on eBay and sell them. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm I'm thinking that maybe I might even just open them just to just for your knowledge too, uh, to know whether or not that's normal or not. So again, um, please give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this uh, Elite Trainer Box, if you had any success or not. And I'm sorry that I couldn't even get a single hit for you guys. Uh, GM Pokey out. Check out my stuff. Look down in the description. Please give us a subscribe. I'll be open more stuff for you.